Okay, so the reason why you click on this video is you're looking for a great solution right, to back up your data. Right, most enterprise solutions where you know big companies, they do backup of data. Either one, they, right, they have a lot of multiple server, multiple you know, hard disks running in RAID 0, all this. Right? And um, you know a lot of those enterprise solution software that cost a lot of money per month, that's hundreds of dollars to thousands of dollars to even tens of thousands of dollars. And for us people, it is not a practical thing to do, all right? And uh, and you know you couldn't invest a lot of money in so many different hard drives, multiple hard drives, you know, to store or back up your data, all right? So what is the best solution for you out there? So do not worry because you are in luck because today you click on this this video, I'm gonna show you show you a software that I use it myself to back up all my data, all right? And all right, it is this software right here, all right? So this is the Mini Two Shadow Maker. Free 4.4. All right. Although there is the paid version as well, uh, and I highly recommend you guys to upgrade to the paid version. I'm gonna tell you about it why later on. All right. So as you know, as you guys can know, and nowadays you know, the quality of hard drive or solid state drive is not that great compared to last time. They don't last as long, and a lot of times as a content creator myself, I have faced issues with you know, um, SD SS solid state drive dying, hard disk dying. It's a very very common issues. All right, and what happens to it, or even your system crash. All right, and sometimes you want to do a Windows restore. All right, and the thing about Windows restore is, all right, you have to manually create it yourself. And if you forgot to, you know, create a restore date or time, or right, basically a back back out on your Windows, there's no way for you to restore back your Windows to one point of time. So basically, like probably um, a new Windows 11 update that you know disrupt your system or crash or you know certain software or apps. Um, facing issues or bugs that you want to roll back to the previous version of Windows, right? But you never create, a, you know, a backup of a previous Windows version. There's no way for you to, you know, roll it back, right? And today I am going to show you this software that can ultimately help you backup any of your important data and files, right? To keep you, uh, to keep your data safe and always have a backup ready to, you know, go. All right, so today this is um, this is software I've been using, all right, for a um, long time in my system as well. All right, so whenever I'm editing videos or anything, or you know, um, especially sometimes there is a Windows update or antivirus update or anything, all right, sometimes some software can cause a bit of you know, bugs and what, which is very, very annoying. So I can always restore back to an earlier point in time, all right, to, you know, to prevent any of these issues from happening, all right. And can clone your data, all this and that. You also have multiple data if the file is really, really important to you. So today, I'm going to show you the software, all right, the functionalities, how it works, all right, and I'll give you a brief uh, showcase around the software itself, basically. All right, so let me just show you the software itself. Let's go. Okay, so you can see this is a software, and it looks very, very professional. It it, it looks very professional, all right. As you can see, the way they um, organize it, the UI, I, I'm like, this is one of the best UI I see in the software. I don't know how you guys uh, prefer, but this is one of, it's organized, neat, all right, and the blue and back background, it just feels so, so good. All right, I don't know how to say, but you know, the UI is really good. It's a good head start. You can choose a backup source where you want to back it up. All right, so you can choose, you want to back up to C drive or a D drive. All right, currently I have two drive connected. As you can see, all right, all the Ds showing the amount of hard disk availability. You can choose to manually backup now, or you can choose a next backup. You can restore the images that you have backup. So for right now, I don't have any backup. It's because this is another PC that I'm recording with. All right, for my main editing PC, um, there will be a lot of these files, all right? But um, yeah, that one, I couldn't show you because a lot of things that I couldn't show. All right, so uh, there is a backup where you can choose you want to partition and you know you want backup to which folder you want. You can choose a folder from your local disk drive, all right, or a shared cloud drive, or if you have a NAS storage, you can also up, um, you know, uh, backup to that one as well. All right, you can also sync your file and folder, all right, to the destination folder. It basically create a clone, uh, so that anytime you know you have problem with one folder, you can always. I uh, have another folder and this thing is very useful, all right? So as a game developer myself, so for it, for it if you develop a games, all right? And sometimes you ran into a 
issue that is unsolvable, you don't know how to solve it, all right? And uh, probably you want to uh, un- uncode your work or you know, undo your work, but as when you develop a game as game progresses, all right, it's hard to undo your work, all right? But with this one, all right, it will sync the data, all right, and um, the backup as well. So I can always uh, use back the code that probably I did a few days back and um, do from there again. So this can be very, very useful if you are like a software developer or a game developer, right? Like you mess up, you know, probably a few days later, you can always restore back to the stable one and you can continue to work from there. So this thing is very, very useful in that scenario as well. All right, so um, yeah, they have restore. You can add a backup where you want to backup. Like I said, you can choose from different places you want to backup. You can manage when to backup or, you know, uh, shut down the computer when all running backup tasks are finished. So you can automatically shut down once it's done backupping. You can see all the logs, all right, probably what time it backup, any error, what's the error message, and it will show a viable solution right here. So um, any problems you went into, it will all lock, you all be locked. So you don't have to worry about, you know, how, how to find all oh, this error, what happens, I don't know. It's all over in the log. You can see the past 24 hour, past week, all right. So if there's any problem with the backup files or you know, the backup folder drives, this and that, you can always see the log file. They also have different tools as well. All right, so the, the good part about this software is, all right, um, not only that you get a backup and restore function that can automatically help you backup as well, they also have a media burner. You can add a different boot menu, you can dismount, you can clone this, which is very, very useful if you have multiple hard disks or triple hard disks or you have a, you know, a lot of these you can clone so that you have an exact clone of the same system or you can, you know, plug it into your new system. This is also uh, particularly useful if you are changing from a hard disk drive to a solid state drive. Right, so a lot of PC, uh, you all, you all, if you want to make your PC faster, the best way is to upgrade from a hard disk to a solid state drive. So with this, just click clone every single data from your hard disk or to the SSD, then you just need to plug in your SSD and you're, you are good to go. You don't need to do any configurations. You don't need to be some sort of tech expert to do that. All right, just with this, just one click, close everything, plug in, you are good to go and you are start, can start working on an SSD. All right, they have PSE, they have remote. You can remote backup all this or can see your backup remotely and system booster as well. So you get all the tools as well all right, included in this software. Very, very awesome. All right, and you can have, uh, if you have any problem, you can just feedback and so on. But as you guys can see, this is a very, very useful backup software. All the backup will be well categorized all over here. So in, in the home page, right, you can see the overview of how many backup you have, what, when is the next backup, all right, this and that. All right. And you can see, um, you can if I choose a backup now or there's different option, all right, so I forgot to show you the, op- the option part, sorry. All right, so the option part you can use, you can choose how you want the image to be created, the file size, the cost, the compression size, command email, all right, shooting, shutdown, backup, you can choose the schedule when to backup. So yeah, like I said, the auto backup, this is a very, very useful function. So you don't have to manually backup, all right? You auto backup for you, you can choose every one hour, uh, you know, one every one hour, start at what time, all right, of day, what, how many weeks a day, this and that, you can always use this. All right, you can always choose this. So it is awesome. You can choose a date when to back up or you can back up every hour, every day. It's up to you. So um, yeah, so with this, it auto make up for me. So I don't have to worry or remember, remind myself to back up. So now I ran into any issues. I just need to open up this software, see when the last backup, restore it, done. I don't need to do anything else. So yeah, this is a very, very useful uh, enterprise solution kind of software that you consumer can use all right without paying the price of an enterprising price all right so yeah so if you guys want to check out this software all right i'll link them in the video description down below for you guys to check out it is very very useful and definitely worth it all right if you have a lot of data that you want to you know keep safe secure and you know this is the software for you yeah so this one you can also um you know back up to another computer uh, elsewhere using um, in uh, the Ethernet, you know, e- your Ethernet cable can actually transfer data. You can use that as well, all right? And you can back out to internal, external, hard disk drive, USB drive, shared folders, all this. You can also make out to anywhere else. So if you want, don't want to take out this space on your um, existing PC, all right, you can always have external hard disk, external USB, external 
another PC for you to back up to a NAS storage, all this, they can all back up to any storage that you want to. All right, so uh, it's a very, very useful function. And once again, I will link them all, right, the soft to the software to this, all it will be linked in the view description down below for you guys to check it out, all right? So yeah, so if you want to check it out and try it out for free and definitely highly recommend you guys to uh, upgrade to the pro version and with a lot of additional features that is definitely <laughs> worth it with the price you're paying you can save a lot of money and it is very well with right for an enterprise solution but for a consumer price right so yeah definitely upgrade to pro all right and oh uh, yeah so once again all the links will be in the video description down below highly recommend guys to check it out so that's all the guys if you find this video really useful let me know in the comment section as well and if this did help you find a solution to your problem also let me know in the comment section as well and this is jfos gaming and i shall see you guys in my next video peace out I cry.